What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Print Shift Repeat. Today we're going over five essential modifications to do to your Ninja 400 to make it faster. <laughs> So this doesn't necessarily have to apply to just the Ninja 400, but it could apply to just really any stock street bike that you get that you want to be focused more for sporty riding or the track. So we're gonna start with the fifth most important and we're gonna go to the first most important modification for your Ninja 400. At number five comes the R6 throttle tube modification. So when you're going from zero to full gas on the stock Ninja 400 throttle tube, it's a long travel. So it's about a third of a turn to get to full throttle. This can be difficult if you're trying to get up and go quicker and it can kind of wear out your wrist over time. Now the throttle tube works by having the throttle cable go into a little notch in it, turns it back and then sends the message to your engine to open up the throttle and thus give more gas and go faster, pretty simple. Now what the R6 throttle tube modification does is it turns that one third turn to more like a one eighth to one quarter, somewhere between one eighth and one quarter turn. And it is a much faster turn to get to full throttle. You might think, well, that doesn't actually make it go faster. And no, it doesn't really do anything to the overall speed of your bike, but it will allow you to get to full throttle much easier and with much less effort in terms of your wrist. If you're at track, for example, and especially on a small bike like this, you're gonna be pinned quite a bit of the time. When you have to reach around and just go like this every shift or when you're downshifting and blipping the throttle, it can lead to fatigue. So what I did was I bought a 2008 up R6 throttle tube. This is the R6 throttle tube that is from the most recent generation of the R6 and now you can only buy it for the track, which is kind of sad. But the 08 and up R6 throttle tube, I think it cost $7. The 03 to 06 throttle tube for the R6, that will directly go on, no modifications needed. 08 and up requires a bit of modification to your throttle housing, just needs a little bit of dremeling. It was super easy. The 03 to 06 throttle tube for the R6 is much longer of a turn. Very little difference between the original Ninja 400 stock throttle tube. There's a great tutorial on NortonMotorsports.com and on the forums, the Ninja 400 forums, about how to do this modification. It's really not that hard. If you have a Dremel, you will be able to do it. Next up on our list at number four is steel braided brake lines and brake pads. These Ninja 400s, they stop okay. They're decent from the factory stock. They got one caliber and one rotor. They're fine. However, if you're going to be doing some aggressive riding, track riding especially, if you want more feel in the brakes and less fade, you definitely want steel braided brake lines and or brake pads. Steel braided brake lines just give a better feel and they have less fade to them. They'll be a little bit more durable. I would just opt for getting that on any street bike you get, whether you're going on the track or on the street. These are Galfer steel braided lines and Vesra pads front and rear. If you're going to choose one, definitely do the front and skip the rear. Coming in at number three is the ABS Delete. And this is a bike that you ride more on the street and you want that ABS for safety. Absolutely keep it. Don't change it that's fine. If you want to get the most performance out of your bike, doing the ABS delete will help a lot. On a motorcycle, it's even more important to not lock up the brakes, but the ABS units in these bikes tend to engage earlier than when you would lock up the brakes. On the track, you're pushing the limits of your braking system. You'll get a really freaky feeling of not being able to stop. You don't want that when you're going into a corner at let's say 120 miles an hour. You want as much feel as possible on the brakes. The ABS Delete is sold by Flashtune ECU. It's pretty expensive, it's 250 bucks. Do it yourself, that's fine. There's tutorials out there. It's a good thing to do if you're gonna be taking it to the track most of the time. If not, you can just leave it. All right, coming in at number two most important, rear sets or rear set risers. This applies to really any bike that you're gonna to take to the track, but especially the Ninja 400 because the rear sets, which are basically the pegs, if you're not familiar with it, they're sitting really low on the bike. When you lean the Ninja 400 over, you're gonna scrape peg. There's a lot of reasons why you don't wanna scrape peg. For new riders, especially first time at the track, or if you're just riding aggressively and you feel the peg scrape, sometimes people can panic, grab front brake, or they think they're crashing and then they'll stand the bike up and then won't make the corner. The most economical option is I got these rear set risers from Norton Racing. They basically take your stock rear sets and then they bring them up and they're adjustable so that they're higher up and you have more of an aggressive riding position. And therefore, when you lean the bike over, you're not scraping peg. Hopefully we can upgrade 
the rear sets on this eventually. But what I did to save some money is just get the rear set risers from Norton. This did the job and I brought them much higher and the seating position is much more aggressive now. Also what comes in the kit is a longer shift linkage since your rear sets are gonna be back more, that shift rod is gonna need to be longer. So they give you a longer shift rod and this allows you to flip it upside down and change your shift pattern to GP shift. All right, finally, we're at our number one most important modification to get your motorcycle track ready and the Ninja 400 specifically track ready or sportier, and that is tires. We've got two areas of contact patch, unlike a car, which has of course four. You need this rubber to be as grippy as possible. When you put on tires, you really have the opportunity to change your grip levels. Stock tires are no go for the track. Even if you're a novice rider, getting better tires before you go to the track is a great idea. It'll just give you that much more confidence that your tires are gonna grip and that you're not going to slide out. So what tires did I put on the Ninja 400 specifically? These are Pirelli Rosso 4 Corsa tires. The Dunlop Q5, they're great. There's some Michelin that are great. If you're gonna get even more aggressive and be riding in like expert group on a little bike like this, definitely slicks will help you get that much more speed and confidence. If you're just starting and you're a novice or you wanna better street tire for doing aggressive riding. I think the Pirelli Rosso 4 courses are an excellent choice. So those are my five essential modifications for your track focused or aggressive focused sporty Ninja 400 or street bike in general. So what do you think about my list? You agree, disagree? Let me know in the comments if you would change anything on that list. And if you've got a Ninja 400, please give me a comment and let me know how you like it. All right, guys, that's been another episode of Print, Shift, Repeat. We got more content coming from the track coming soon. So stay tuned. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.